Hi Aquarius, happy December. I hope you're doing well. Okay. All right. I think for some of you, you've got amazing new beginnings here. I love that this card is showing up now. For some of you too, if you've been doing something or you're trying to do something in reference to public speaking, keep with that because I'm getting loud and clear that that is coming for you. You'll you'll reap the rewards of that. So if you're thinking this is never going to come through, I'm meeting resistance after resistance, keep going. You'll be fine. You'll, you'll get where you're going. You'll get recognition for that. That's for someone. I don't know where that's coming from. Okay. Now you've got good cheer here and you've got imagination. For some of you, you're going to have to get creative with something right on the good front. I think you've got new beginnings here. I think for some of you, you've got new beginnings in relationships. I think for some of you, you've got new beginnings in career. I think it takes off. I think you're getting recognition. You're absolutely getting financial gain from it too. And I want to say this, you're very creative. Put your edge on something. Don't not, don't play something down. I'm the new kid on the block. I better not shine, shine because you're going to make a name for yourself. And I feel it's going to come really fast. OK, if you are doing something in public speaking and you're thinking, oh, I've got this mind blowing way to do something, but I don't know if it's going to be received. Well, go for it. Do it. OK. All right. Now, this is going to go one of two ways. I've got the mixed feeling on it already. And I've got to be honest with you. Some readings just stink, but they are what they are. OK, um, this is started somewhere down in Scorpio and it's making its way up. I was praying to God that it stopped at some point, but it seems to be going through. For some of you, the relationship spectrum does not pay you any mind here. If you're on a career pinnacle, keep going because you're going to be very, very successful there. For some of you, it brings you to other countries. For some of you, you have to move for this. Okay. So there you go. But I think that you know, I want to say this too, it's success after failure. So that's why I feel if there's something here, you're thinking, I just, this is just not my thing. I really enjoy it, but I, you know, I think I'm creative. I think I'm this, but no one else is receptive. It could be a timing thing. These planets have been all, you know, screwed up. Maybe this is a behind the scenes kind of time for yourself where you collect things, where all your imagination comes alive. And now very, very soon, you're going to be able to put this out and it's going to be very well received. So this is not a time to damper your fire right now. Okay. Show up as who you are. All right. Now we come in with the nine of cups. Okay. That's a great energy. We've got the wheel of fortune. We've got the seven of swords and the three of swords. For some of you, you're busting through something here. Like I said, there's been a lot of failures, but now you're busting through on the career arena. I've got a different scenario on the relationship arena. Okay. Now you've got the three of cups. You've got the lover card. You've got the four of coins. You've got the nine of swords. You've got the king of swords. You've got the three of coins. And you've got the six of swords. Okay. For some of you, you're moving. For some of you, you're getting in the career of a lifetime here. Be your creative self. I'm telling you, I can't push this enough. You need to show up. You're the difference. Like you're the difference. You're like the red in the gray sea. So show up as yourself. Okay. For others of you, I've got to put it out here. This is success after failure. Like I said, there's been things going on here that you're thinking it's, I just, I'm just not good at this, but you're so passionate about it. You are, it could possibly be the, the time for others of you. I think you've got certain areas of your life. This is where it kind of all runs together, but one area of your life I think is really coming to a close, but the other area is taking off. Those are divine timing things. And sometimes relationships give way and you're meant to go in another direction. Like maybe your career is meant to take off now. And at a certain point in time, it was the relationship gave you the stepping stone to get you to go where you need to go. Sometimes, you know, it's that, you know, that verse that we need, but it comes in a relationship. It shows up. And that's the purpose of that relationship is to propel your soul forward. And sometimes that shows up in, in ways that, you know, we could have lived a clear full life without having to experience. But unfortunately, it shows up. Okay. Success after failure sits here. Okay. 
we need a fair amount of failure to know how to sustain a, a, a success. Okay, so that's what this is here. For others of you, I've got to be honest with you, you're finding out about something here in a relationship. You're finding out about some kind of scenario here. Okay. I hate to deliver those messages, but they are what they are. If your relationship is fine, do not go borrowing trouble. This is a general reading. Okay. Um, for some of you, I think there's delays in something around a home or a business. If you're selling real estate, waiting for something to get, to get done, waiting on insurance money, there's delays there, but it's coming. Okay. So don't, don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, again, this is like, you're, there's something around business that you just think like, it's just not going to work. I'm telling you, it will pull through. So if you're thinking about letting something go, at least get through December and January, and you'll see that you're on a different ground here. I think it opens doors for you that you go in a different direction or you expand in a different direction. Okay. Um, Again, success after failure. I think there is good luck in here for sure. This is financial gain. It's financial gain. You just don't see it yet, but it's coming up. That's why I'm saying don't quit, okay? Um, and this is recognition. This is like recognition finally for something that you're doing, right? But it's after failure because you know what? In this card, it could be someone saying, like, say you come in like this, right? And you're saying, for example, my projects are great. There's nothing wrong with them. I'm not open to constructive criticism. I'm not open to constructive criticism, you know? But through some hard knocks, you realize that, hey, I need to be maybe a little bit more receptive or I do, you know, five people have said this. Maybe there's something to it. In this card, you're able now to accept constructive criticism from people that really see the great things that you're doing, right? And you're open to that instead of saying no, you know, when we have enough failures under us, we have to start listening to maybe it is me, you know, maybe there is something that I'm doing that I need to, but, but if we're not open to this, we miss opportunities here and you've got an opportunity here that's coming for you. That's going to set you up financially and you're going to be happy, joyful, passionate about it. Okay. It's a new beginning for you here. You're kind of like busting out of the cocoon, but you're going in a different direction. And I think it's at the heels of something in a relationship that may have held you back. Okay. Only we don't know that. We don't put the two together. We don't put our marriage with our career growth or we don't put something with something else. But but everything is working in tandem. We just don't see it. Okay? So that's what I've got. Now, at the outbound, you've got the six. This is moving away from something, yes, but it's also moving towards something. It's a different way of thinking, a different way of doing something, a different value system. You value things differently, right? Things are this is good cheer. This is, I'm going to be happy in my life. I deserve to be happy in my life. Everything does not always need to be like a, a do or die situation. I deserve to be happy. And that's you realizing this, right? That's a whole new way of realizing something. Then nothing is ever the same again after that. Things that were so tedious and, and that we really just couldn't live without that relation, that relationship, that person we just had to have. We now realize that, you know what? I'm worth more than this, you know? This is finding your passion again. You don't settle for things. We It's a growth process, okay? These are the failures we need to have. But we don't settle for things that we settled for in the past because we're growing. And that's where you're at. You're at a growing place here. You know, certain areas of your life are taking off and others are like, they're ending. But it's a blessed ending, okay? You'll see it in time. Um For some of you, whatever you've been, I hear there's wishes here. Like someone's been really wishing for something. You're about to get your wish granted here. Okay. That's for someone. That's what I've got, guys. I think it's a phenomenal reading. Imagination now sets me free. There's someone who's got an edge here on something, but you are I think you're afraid to let it out. It's your ticket to ride. Don't hold back right now. There's someone who's got something here. You may be just in an arena that is suppressing you, but you've got, it's funny because sometimes you can work for a boss. I get these calls a lot sometimes. And then when I look at them, there's no way that this person should ever have been working for someone else. They should have owned their own business from the get go. If there's, you know, some arena where you're having a hard time under someone, maybe this is a time absolutely with these two cards is absolutely a time to start your own business. You're crowned in, I'm sorry, the three of coins. I'm sorry, the three of cups. This is celebration. This is heaven on earth. 
This is happiness. That's this. The colors are even the same. We choose heaven or hell. We do. You know? So make your life this. Make your life good and cheerful and happy. You know? Allow yourself to have the new beginnings. Allow yourself to show the world your creative edge here. Step off that ledge. We don't have the fool card here, but you've got amazing card. This is, this is kind of like the fool card going on to something. Because this is cleaning out the cobwebs and the craziness in our heads. This is a fresh new perspective here. Okay? So there you go. I think this is a great reading. This is something, it's, it's, it can be behind why some of the decisions that you make. You know what I mean? You want to start thinking longer, uh, more of a long-term investment in your life, right? These are, you know, maybe these are habits that you've got underneath for some of you, right? Like I don't make the wisest choices for myself. I don't make the long-term choices. I, I look for instant gratification. How long could, you know, if I saved a dollar a day, what the hell does that matter? Well, it's $400 or so at the end of the year. You're thinking different. You think different. Your perspective is different. And you know what? The money comes in here. Money is energy too. You may have had that lack mentality. Well, you don't anymore. Okay, that's the new beginning here. And when we don't have lack mentality, ladies and men, we're not settling for that either. We're not settling for other nonsense that's not helping us grow. You know, you never should allow yourself to be at the receiving end of something once you know you're at the receiving end of something. It's a growth process, yes, but once you know it, it's time to, to get, get on with things. It's, you know, this is, this is being very decisive about the things that you want. You know, so there you go. That's what I've got. I think it's great. Okay, my gosh. You know, this is amazing. If there's something that you find out that's not so lovely, this is what awaits you. This is a destined point in time. You know, maybe you had to be in crappy relationships until you finally figured it out so that now when you get somewhere and you can stand on your own two feet, you've got stability, right? This is knowing what your values are, period. That's in imagination. That's in good cheer. You know what I mean? That is new beginnings. That is you choosing heaven or hell on earth. This is getting over something and being happy, being recognized. You know, you've got three threes. In a work arena, that's absolute recognition. In a relationship arena, not so much. Right? And you've got three threes here. So it goes absolutely both ways. Okay, so there you go. I hope that I helped you in some way.